Thank you. I think I think that's the best intro you've ever had. I, you know, it might be. I'm gonna have to go back and look at them all and see. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, yeah. it's a tough call. It's good I to have you back, it's buddy. It's good to see good you. Good to have you. Yeah, you've had it's this, been a while. You've had this string of uh, really excellent, not just players, but incredibly knowledgeable folks. Yes. Uh, so it's been it, fun. Bring that energy back down to a, you know. You know, now it's just quite. Bring it back down from 11 to about, you know. Yeah. Seven. And I've been in a hurry too. I'm gonna. I'm trying to slow down. All right. You really need to mindfulness. I need to, I need to like breathe a little bit. Be in um, the moment. But you know, just for the record, you know, you come in here and <laughs> you ha you have a half hour lunch break, and I'm have a you know I have a busy yeah. store. I have a half hour lunch break to do yeah. an hour and a half exactly. worth of film. <laughs> exactly. So sorry for the uh, babble there, but uh, this is Quentin King and this is Paul from Music Villa in Bozeman, Montana, today. We're going to check out... Cool concept. Yes. Five guitars, right? I think so. Five yeah. guitars. Five guitars. All under a 1,000. Mm -hmm. Gig ready. Um, what do we mean by gig ready? I don't know. It's just, just a, like it's just a fun term. I think of it like plug and play, right? These yeah. are guitars that you could walk out of the store with and let's say, you know, hypothetical, you're a touring band or whatever, yeah. or you're, a, you know, the local happy hour whatever uh, acoustic player and something goes wrong and you need a quick replacement yeah this is the type yeah. these are the types of guitars that won't break your budget right but you can go in and uh, pick something up and they'll be ready to plug into your pa whatever and you can go do your show yeah, do a gig and be confident that they're going to perform and even and if you well. don't plug in when i say gig ready it's just it's kind of a it's a professional guitar it's not right. like you know it's got everything that you would need in a guitar mm -hmm. you know there's all these categories kind of like there's a nice under 300 category mm -hmm. for entry level stuff. This is a whole nother category, and we just kind of picked five of what we feel would just be great guitars. There's more than this, mm -hmm. um, but we just grabbed five real quick. We were just kind of going, okay, each brand, let's let's find something that works. So one note, you can see the amp behind us. We probably won't do it during this part, but when we go to the uh, side by side sampling. Yeah, uh, we'll plug them in too because I think we've been getting a lot of comments about how does it sound plugged yeah. in, whatnot. Yeah, uh, we'll give you the specs on the amp um, and really just to anybody who plays acoustic electric guitars knows that um, the acoustic sound is what the acoustic sound is. The electric sound, when it's plugged in, uh, amplified sound, can really radically change um, the applicability of a guitar to a scenario. So we've said this before, particularly in context with tailors, mm -hmm. that where someone might feel like it's lacking the bottom end acoustically, that might be by design yeah. uh, because it allows for more balanced, amplified sound. Sure. So we're going to just briefly give it, all of this is within the... Uh, uh, the qualified statement that there's no substitute for testing it out yourself. Go to your music store, plug them in, play them, yep. figure out what works best for you. Or come to Bozeman. We yes. have them all. They're Fly all to Bozeman. Yep. It's, we're having uh, finally summer here. Yes. It's warm. It's beautiful. Yep. Let's just get rolling with these. And, Which uh, one we we'll have go, first? This is Eastman, one of our yes. favorite brands. Yeah. We, Eastman's been crushing it. Yeah. We love it. Uh, this is the AC222CE. Woven call back and sides. This is... It's got a good feel, you know, I love these models, again, uh, for those who, f who are total shredders and need to get up to this mm -hmm. high, uh, you know, the high number frets, you got that. But it plays really well, it's comfortable, it's got a good projection acoustically, I think. It's, there, it's not a huge low end, but it's, it's well balanced. Call back inside, spruce top, ebony fingerboard, just you know, great appointments, nice guitar. Then. All right, so that was the easy. This is new. Yep. We've already done these. Yep. Well, this is I. You know, you can tell me what model it is, but Martin. I know it's the Road Series. I know yeah. it's a Martin, and it's got this cool nifty little tuner in there. Yes, the D10E is this you model. You can see that. How do you turn? Oh, there's the button. Yeah. I don't know if that'll show up. The little green light. If you can see that in there, but it's kind of. Yep. Good. Fishman pickup tuner, volume and a tone wheel in there. Now, unlike uh, the Eastman, this, you know, just the Dreadnought body style, yep. you, uh, playability, you can already, plays like a Dreadnought, feels comfortable, yep. but it's got some, yeah, some depth got in it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say, but this is, uh, plays really, 
really well. I love the smooth, uh, you know, the kind of satin or matte finish, yep. whatever you want to call it. Yep. Uh, so that's a sepele back the side, kind of a mahogany type of wood, spruce top. They're just great. It's, you know, like I said, we're not, it's not one's better or worse. It's like, which one do you need? Which one is the, what tone right. are you looking for? What these are just in, these style. are all just in a category mm -hmm. of price point that we believe are wonderful guitars for, for that next level up. Yep. What else? Like it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you Let's were like, what else? Going. Like, what else? Let's do that one. Taylor. Oh, look at this. It's Taylor. Classic. Classic. So Classic. This is 114 a CE. Yes. That yes. is. Very nice. A layered back of walnut, spruce top. You know, pickup. It's, you know, this is the. You know, the Taylor has their own pickup system in there. A yeah. lot of these have the Fishman pickup in there. Uh, Aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I mean, this is this is kind of like a go-to. Uh, for that first step up from uh, true intro level guitar yep. to a, like a professional level instrument, I think a lot of folks have have uh, played these over the years yep. uh, for good reason because you know you get Comfy. just really solid uh, craftsmanship. Again, they always feel just very well put together. Yeah. This is uh, in this one series. It's not V brace. I can tell because it's a white. Right. Not, right. Yep. So okay. So this is the traditional. Yep. Traditional X brace. Yep. Mm -hmm. What is, uh, it's kind of in between the other style. two. It's got a nice, yeah. yep. nice play ability. But, uh, cool. yeah, we'll check this out again. In yeah, 114 so, CD. What else? So we, we got, got a few over on the side here. Okay. Uh, the Guild. I like the Guild. Yes, the Which Guild. Which is this? This okay, is. Okay, the Guild. That is the D. 260 CE Deluxe. You shock me with your, your memory. It's amazing. Well, I cheated. I looked at my cheat sheet. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. So, uh, nice appointments here. I can see, uh, I like the open back tuners. It just looks looks nice. And I like the kind of cutaway dreadnought yeah. body style. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the sound is, 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 it's a little more MIDI than yeah. I would have expected for a uh, guitar of this depth, yeah. but it plays well. Feels like the, I don't know, the strings are maybe a little lighter, whatever they've got on uh, here. Okay. I don't know. Could be. That one seems like it, it's plugged in and might yeah, be exceptional. Yeah, so this might be one of those situations where Yep. Uh, it's not going to boom you out of the right. room acoustically, but that maybe uh, uh, allows for more flexibility when you plug it in. Yeah. But we'll cool. uh, we'll trade this one out again for the last in the last of one. The five. And this one. Now this um, one's cool. This, okay. So this is relatively. Is this relatively new? Yes. Okay. So while you were gone. Mm -hmm. well, I wasn't gone. While I you were gone. Here. Uh, last week, mm -hmm. uh, Don came down from Gibson and mm -hmm. did a little talk about these guitars. Mm -hmm. This is the G45 Studio. There's two models, uh, G45 Studio and a G45 Standard. Okay. okay, this one, it's walnut back and sides. These are made right here in Bozeman. Yep. Right? In Bozeman. And this is in the, our category we're talking about, under a thousand. This is kind of ridiculous of a guitar. It's a great guitar. So you haven't played this yet. I'm excited for you to try it out. Mm -hmm. Walnut back and sides, spruce top, made by hand by people in our local town right here. Yeah. It's it's an amazing guitar for an American-made um, guitar. It's an amazing price point for an American-made right. guitar. I'll just point out that this is of the five we've... Yes, this would be the only American-made guitar. The only truly American. And it, it plays and it sounds... I'd say it's it's just it's right on point for uh, in the context of all the other guitars we've heard and the features uh, plays well feels smooth I like the neck style yeah. it's a little bit thicker maybe I don't know if it's wider probably not but to my hand it, it is a new profile good. I'll have to look into it. we'll actually do a video on this okay uh, by itself it's and we'll go through we'll the features yeah it's got enough uh, enough depth to to you know flesh out the sound but without being boomy sounds very yeah. woody yeah. you know and that you know the satin finish allows that kind of gives it that woody sound yeah g45 
45 studio. For sure. It's very attractive. Gibson, Gibson too. Yeah. I, you know, I'm sure you'll get some pictures I'm going to roll around and hopefully not throw off the white balance. But uh, but look at that. What's the back wood again? Walnut. Walnut. It's, you know, it's very attractive. That's a cool piece, too. It that is. one's crazy. I like this. Well, that's it. That's and it's five affordable. guitars. And that's here you go. Made. Uh, yes. Obviously, yeah. USA. Pretty cool. America. Yeah. So that was five guitars, under a thousand. Yeah, you always got to stop at that yeah. point when you sing that song. It's true. Mm -hmm. Well, we should move on to the end. Yes. And uh, we'll allow yeah, you we'll, to we'll do uh, a little uh, yeah, you can sample go and uh, plug them in. Gotcha. We'll try and, I don't know. We'll figure out what we're gonna do there, but I'll let you sample. figure it out because I'm in a hurry. I gotta run. I know you gotta run. You gotta yeah. think you're a busy guy. I am. Mover, shaker. Moving and grooving. Yeah. People demand me upstairs, so I'm gonna head back up and let you do your thing. Good, good to see you. Hopefully, uh, this has been a good. Uh, yeah, just a sample. Yeah, you know, good we're trying sample. To throw some ideas out there. If you're in this market looking for this, if you're a professional player, but for whatever reason, I don't know, you don't want to spend three grand on a high end instrument, but yeah. you need something that's above, you know. This uh, is a good category. A beater. This is, you know. And there's many more. We'll have to do another one. We'll do another one with there's maybe so the many. same category without a pickup or something. I think every, if you're watching this channel, it's because you know there's so many guitars and never enough time to get Very true. On. I thought for sure <laughs> one day we were going to be caught up on videos, and never. I just looked upstairs. There's so many guitars that we have not filmed yet. So we're going to get there. We're trying. We're going to try to not it's rush not, through them as much. It's not the destination. It's the journey, man. It is. It's, it's true. You know, it's been a great journey, journey. man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Quentin. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you soon. Prelude to these, uh, this next series of samples. Uh, we're doing our best to try, you know, these are dials. They don't always necessarily give you numbers or exact uh, mid measurements, but we're trying to flatten everything out as best we can. Uh, for uh, To the extent that these have tone dials, we're trying to put it somewhere in the middle. Volume, we're just doing our best with our eagle ears to to keep the levels about the same but so for these uh series we're just gonna i'm gonna strum a little something without the uh amplifier uh, and then turn the volume up just a little bit so you can hear a little bit of what the amplified sound is like uh for this we're using the loud box mini from fishman uh plenty of specs online if you want to check it out uh, the guitars uh, will be identified their individual specs will be identified so if you want to learn more about the individual pickups that are being used in these guitars. You can check it out there too. We're not going to describe those uh, through this. So without further ado, we're going to just do a little sampling for these guitars. <laughs> 